What is going on guys welcome back to another video now in today's video we are going to be taking a look at official china slash global beta versions of the my ui 9 for our redmi note 3 now those who have seen my past videos and those who have commented that video was fake both were redmi note 4s were apparently your dumb asses didn't know that redmi note 3 has a speaker on the back while is the redmi note 4 has a speaker on the bottom if you come at the front redmi note 3 has a camera a bit far than earpiece how can you get that wrong if you're watching the video over here just take a look as i said in my last video that on on August 26th, the second batch of the My UI 9 will be rolled out for most of our devices, but it didn't have the name of the Redmi Note 3 when it launched on the August 26th, which was extremely sad. Like literally, Xiaomi's most sold phone, Redmi Note 3, was not on the chart. But there are still speculations that Redmi Note 3 will be getting an official beta tomorrow, which will be the Friday, which is the first of the September. But I got it in my hands earlier, as I told you before. I have a developer, but still, I can't give that wrong. <laughs> but seriously, someone leaked it, so I will just give a link in the description, as this is a closed beta just listen carefully so if you update it through the updater app it wouldn't work you have to flash it through the zx store recovery or if you have a 3 gig model you can also flash it with the red wolf recovery it wouldn't flash with the normal 2 recovery so as you can see i said two things in my last no good video which was made by a developer he had ported the rom from the mi max it ran android no good also it had vulcan api as we have the my ui 9 over here guess what literally please please be no good please be no good and xiaomi has played the game they have gave us the android 6.0.1 what happened to the features like split screen and stuff well sadly there is no split screen now i am running china version over here because at least china rom has some of the features global beta is just the same my 8 with a bit of optimization like the apps open faster the rom feels a bit quick it is same for the china rom but still the global beta has nothing at least the china one has the smart assistant which is still the older one like this smart assistant is from the my 8.2 let me show you as you can see the smart assistant from the my 9 no guard over the right looks like this and it has like a shit ton of cards whereas over here you only get two stock cards and you can just add one more app and the mi band app which makes like in total of four and if you go to home screen there is nothing different even if you open and close the apps they have no animation at all if you have seen my last video each and every icon has their own animations maybe xiaomi will add it later but still as a stock feature it has not been provided over here but if you swipe up you have the all new me finder or something like that but as you can see this is the new one it doesn't open up like a whole app it looks like the my ui 9 smart assistant with the cards and stuff even if you go to the settings the about section has been totally removed from the bottom and just settled on the top but if you go over here even on the china rom you don't get the whole grid view like literally i don't know why xiaomi just deletes all the features for the redmi note 3 you get like a global beta view over here but if you go to the all specs as you can see it doesn't show global for china roms it just shows beta android 6.0 dot one extremely sad about this now i will leave a link in the description for one more apk if you want to install this from you can also get the full google play store working so yeah you have got it covered even if you go to the security there is nothing new over here but now these are on the grid earlier it was like a list which was a bit confusing then on the home screen you do have my ui 9 features such as if you hold on over here you can move the apps in bulk then if you go back you have the settings and stuff where you can select the transition effect i guess there was one more row of transition effects now there are only like seven transition effects over here so let's just enable the limitless theme as you can see the new theme store there you go at least a bit of a new feel even if you go to the home screen and the recents you can turn on and off the quick card then you can also get this option to show memory status as it was just default before but you do get my lab over here where you have find photos in gallery yep i have applied for the testing but even if i connect to my internet no search option over here as it appeared on my redmi note 4 and i have tested it works pretty fine if you type in smile it shows photos with smile but over here it doesn't give any kind of option i might be wrong over here just let me know and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this was a quick little review of the my ui 9 global slash china beta they are both the same even on the global beta you don't have any kind of feature such as search in status bar no qr scanner no assistant no my ui lab just the my ui 9 name so yeah guys thanks for watching see you in the next one links in the description if you want to flash it